is a short lesson to give you a heads up on the country style guitar work we're going to be doing in um, this week's lessons. It's essentially 12 bar blues in the key of E. We'll use cowboy chord E, country chord E, country chord A, country chord B7. Okay, that's uh, fret 2 of the A string there, fret 1 of the D string with our first finger, fret 2 of the G string with our ring finger, and our little fingers go on on E2 at the top. There's an opening riff that's a famous one from the Johnny Cash song. And if you look, it's sort of like the B seventh is almost the starting point of it. I'm playing A string, up to the D string, back to the A, and then just a sort of half bend. So it sounds a bit like. One more time, and then when we kick into rhythm, we're going to palm mute near the bridge of the Telecaster, and we're going to play this rhythm. It's called a chicken boom rhythm. I'm basically playing the open E string, and then going off the A two note. strings but in between I'm doing a little kind of rake of the strings to create a chicker effect so it becomes boom chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka. so it's a sort of rhythm guitar um, effect but played on electric guitar normal acoustics will be just doing a heavy strum Maybe he's putting the seventh in. Maybe he's occasionally hammering on that note, and that's one of them kind of blue thirds where we're just kind of smearing it almost. Okay. When we go up to the A chord of our 12 bar blues, the four chord, same principle, but we're playing the A string and then we're playing D2 as. And then when we go up the B, we're going to have to alternate between fretting A2 and E2. To get that um, bass part. When we go to the solo, we're going to use a bit of the Johnny Cash uh, original solo. We're going to, I'm going to play, uh, I think Johnny Cash's guitar player plays it on the B and E string up there. If you look at videos of it, I think it's perhaps a slightly nicer tone to play it up at uh, fret 12. I'm going to smear 12 to 13 there, and we've got the B string on fret 12 there. And then we're going to hammer off with our little finger on what's sort of like a seventh note, it's fret 15 of the B string. Okay, and the kind of full part of it is. And we'll go down the arpeggio. I'm hitting an open E string. Really, it should be. It's quite nice sometimes to have a blend of open strings and fretted strings in this country style. So, all together. Again. Then we're going to go to what looks like an A7. I'm going to jump all the way down there on the guitar, but we're going to really mute it. This is called kind of chicken picking this style it's very muted in the um, right hand and we're actually just pressing the notes down i don't know if you can see there as we kind of play them and it's just an arpeggio of where we're playing the g string initially and then jumping up to the slightly dissonant seventh note but we're just kind of very muting it uh, we're using our fingers to create a very muted effect to the E of the 12 bar blues in this solo, we're just going to do this little hammer on. It's like an E chord to sort of like a little bar that I'm doing by just moving my 
ring finger down to flatten all the strings on E. And we're uh, we're mainly just playing the kind of the top strings, the top high treble strings. <laughs> Each of them is slightly syncopated. There's going to be a bass note. Boom. 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 Okay. As we go to the end of the 12 bar blues, we're going to go up to uh, a bit of a B chord. So basically, you slide into, imagine a B bar chord there, but it's just the uh, G string and the top A string being played. I'm creating a mini bar. You can hear me use the term mini bar lots. I tend to use these a lot in lead guitar work. I'm going to leave that hanging in the air, and then our final riff is this. And again, we're going to mute it and press it down with our left hand as we play it to try and get that chicken picking effect. It's basically those two notes there, and we play the G string and the E string. Move it down to. I pivot my hand round there, so both those are on four. At this point, I've kind of I'm just holding my plectrum, playing my thumb and finger. Or you can play it with the plectrum. We've got to be pretty fast on the draw to get the rhythm right. So that might be the one point where, as you slide into the B, just move the plectrum into the middle of your hand, and then use your thumb and finger. Sometimes a claw called a kind of claw hammer shape with your right hand there. Sometimes used in country music, and you get a bit more snap on the strings because you're kind of pulling on the strings to kind of create the tone. Yeah, and that's a nice little run. So it'll go uh, one, two, three, four, and then we're back in our main A group. So the whole solo together, hopefully played correctly. One, two, three, four.